Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy for anybody that is new around here and I have another art topic to discuss today. You guys know that I love these videos. I love discussing topics, I love debates and I just love talking about lots and lots of different things on my channel just quickly if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you'll be notified of all my future uploads i upload art related videos every single week on my channel and i'd love to have you around so today we're going to be talking about planning art versus freestyle art so whether you are a planner and you love organizing your time or whether you are someone that wants a more free approach to art and you just love creating art for fun let's talk about this one today let's see what people think and what i think as well so I love planning artwork. I actually do a bit of both actually. So I do a lot of planning and I also do a lot of freestyle art. And I personally love both. So when I am planning, I like to plan my time constructively and things. And there are definitely times when planning is more important to me than being freestyle with my art and for example I mean I do like patreon and things I'm into my teaching videos and there has to be a big element of planning those videos and I really do do a lot of planning to get the most out of my videos and to just make sure that I am being constructive with my time and things so let's just talk about a few reasons why I love to plan and why some other artists do as well so firstly what I love about planning is that it allows you to collectively write down lots and lots of ideas. At the beginning of the year every year I buy myself a bullet journal and what I do in the bullet journal is I spend a few hours writing down loads of different video ideas and I'll often use the bullet journal from the last year to help me with new ideas as well. So I'll just write down loads of video ideas that I want to do over the next year and that includes like teaching videos, fun videos, topic videos like this video today and it allows me to be able to just look at that bullet journal whenever I want and just pick out loads of different ideas. So I love the planning aspect for that reason because it just gives you a place that you can come to whenever you want to and if you are struggling with like procrastination or artist block it's a really great idea to have a bullet journal so that you have that constant filter of ideas. I also have like um, weekly planners as well. I have like calendars. I also have a pin board. My gosh, I sound like a really organized person, but I just love planning my time constructively and I like to be organized as well. So as I've literally just said, planning my days and times constructively is really important to me and I feel like I can do this when I plan my art properly. So what I like to do is I like to plan my days, I like to plan my times. I mean, I even have schedules for like every hour of the day, <laughs> which makes me sound ridiculous, but it really helps just to just keep me in check and make sure that I am following proper routines and schedules. And also if you're someone like me that has two jobs, so you have your art and you also have another job as well, it's really, really hard to keep yourself in a proper schedule and get the most out of your work if you're not planning. So that is why I love to be organized.
The other thing that I love about planning my art is that, again, if you're anything like me and you have a, re a really bad memory, <laughs> then planning artwork can be a really good thing for you because it means that I can obviously plan in advance what I want to do, I can write stuff down and what I also do when I'm filming videos is I will write down a little list of all the different things that I want to include, all the things that I want to film so that I don't actually forget anything because I can't tell you the amount of times when I was doing freestyle art video tutorials where I would forget something and have to refilm and that was a nightmare so I love this about planning. So there's lots and lots of like benefits to planning your art but there are also great things about freestyle art as well that I want to talk about. So freestyle art is actually really really popular. I know a lot of artists that literally don't plan anything and they create the most amazing fantastic art that I have ever seen and also they are able to produce work really quickly and effectively as well and personally I don't know how they do that. <laughs> Hats off to them because I have to literally plan a heck of a lot but there are some people that are freestyle artists and that work for them. So with freestyle art what I love is that it allows you to be really creative. So if I'm sort of in a mood where I don't really want to plan anything, I just want to draw or I just want to paint, I love the freestyle side of things because you can just get on and do whatever you want to do and it allows you to just be creative and really think with your creative juices. The other thing is that it allows you to take risks and to try new things. So if I'm just having a day where I really want to just experiment with art and explore new mediums of art, then if I'm going freestyle, <laughs> I can just take new risks and try new things. Sometimes it doesn't really work out, but other times I've actually created artwork that I've been really proud of and really happy with. And I've literally just said that what I also love about freestyle art is that it allows you to experiment with loads and loads of ideas. And it can also be a lot more fun and a lot more freeing as well. If you're just being really freestyle with your work, you don't really have any plans, you don't really have any ideas with what you're going to do or where you're going. And you can get a lot of really, really great results from being more freer and creative with your art. So as I said, I love doing both. So when I'm in, you know, trying to get tutorials done and I need to be getting things done very quickly and producing a lot of work, then planning definitely comes in handy for me. But if I want to just take a little bit of a step back and have more fun and not really worry too much about getting too much done and just doing things for myself, then having a more freestyle approach is definitely where I want to be in that frame of mind. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this little art topic today. If you have any other things that you want to say that I haven't included in this video, then don't forget that you can leave that in the comment section down below. I really hope you did enjoy this video. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.